My yes. body. Yeah, your body. <gasps> I'm harassed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Today, we're going to react to 29 things that exist only in Japan. Me and her, she mostly because she's Japanese. I'm not. I'm just supporting. I'm the support guy. Okay, baby, are ready? Yes. Let's go then. Uh, we are sharing the year phone because we are broke. We just have one. No, we are fixed. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Let's go, babe. Japan is known as the land of the Pretty. rising sun, mm. but it could also be known as the land of singing toilets. Singing toilets? Singing toilets? Swinging toilets. Singing toilets, no, that, that, that doesn't make sense. Makes sense. Japan's toilet is great. But it doesn't sing. Okay. Or the country of the blue traffic light. There are so many things that make it oh. a whole other world. Get ready to explore. 1. Square watermelons. They were invented back in the 70s by a graphic designer to fit compactly in the fridge and be cut more easily. Japanese farmers grow them in special containers to get the shape. I've seen it before. Since I've seen it before too. I've just seen it before in TV, but I never seen. I they don't it. sell in. Really? Yeah, I saw it. Really? Yeah. Where? In Tsukuba supermarket. I, I'm not going to give the address, but I saw oh. it before. But so I, maybe I didn't pay attention, but this is more pricey, right? Yeah, yeah. They're pretty expensive. People don't buy them as food, but rather as a decorative oh. item. See? Oh. Two. Ramen noodles bath. Mm. The Unison it's Spa Resort in Hakone yeah. offers its guests the pretty unique experience of splashing around in a vat of pork soup and ramen noodles. While this may sound crazy to me, hey, this is true. I don't know. This is new to me too. Living in Japan for almost sixteen years, never heard about it. Let's let's see how it looks like. Many people, many. The Japanese believe that soaking in such a bath is good for the skin because a broth made of pork is rich in collagen. Three. I mean, no, this is not true. But maybe it's good for skin because like tonkotsu, if it's tonkotsu soup, mm. it's pork soup, has lots of collagen. Mm. So collagen is good for the skin. Mm. But I've never seen it before. They didn't show it too, so... I don't know if it's true. I think, I think this one he made up. Yeah. Bizarre flavors of Kit Kat. Mm. That's true. This is Chili true. pepper, wasabi, sweet potato, grilled corn, soybean, salt, watermelon, mango, mm. green tea. And that's only a short mm. list of the Kit Kat flavors you can try in Japan. Which one would My you- My favorite one is green tea. And lots of foreigners like green tea too. It's tasty, I don't know. Green tea and also, how do you call it? Dark chocolate, bitter one. A little bit oh, bitter. Oh, the dark one. one the yeah. dark one. Yeah. Like Japanese Kit Kat already is less sweet than the one in America. You can taste the cacao more. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like sugar. It's more rich taste. If you come to Japan, this is something you definitely should try. Try. Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> Fake food. Oh, yeah, that's true. Specialists make ah. this kind of food from plastic or Sample wax. Food. And it yeah, looks it. just as delicious as the real one. Many restaurants yeah. use fake food to display their popular. This is true. Yeah. Like one thing I had hard time when I was living in the U.S. Like all the menu is only written. So if I just see, words, yeah? I don't know what Those the heck pictures. this is. Yeah. I just have to guess and then, okay, this says chicken. Just order this. I don't know how it looks like, but order it anyway. There's a fun fact about it. If you go in a restaurant here in Japan and there's this display food, you're gonna order, gonna come exactly the way it's displayed on the plate. Yeah. If it comes a little bit different, you can complain and they're gonna fix it and make exactly the way it's displayed. <laughs> it's true story though. Really? Yeah. Aww. Because if not, it's fake advertisement. Somebody told that to me. <laughs> and then sometimes this sample food looks tastier than the real one. Yeah. Their dishes in the windows and attract hungry clients. Usually, these replicas cost much more than the dishes they imitate. Yeah. 5. Rabbit Island okay. Back in the 40s, scientists brought a number of rabbits to Okonoshima Island to do some tests. However, later on, the animals were freed and started to multiply. This I don't now mean. the island is full I of them and it. attracts a also lot of tourists. Mm. Purikura no. machines Purikura. Ah, Purikura. <laughs> His accent was pretty good. Yeah, it was a horrible... Purikura machines. Oh, puri we call it Purikura, so it's like... <laughs> when he, he said with English accent, I couldn't understand. <laughs> Taking photos in a booth is <laughs> nothing really new, good. but Japan added its own exciting twist to this experience. Their photo booths, called Purikura, 
allow you to edit photos right on the spot, adding different backgrounds, but funny stick. We will make fun of his accent, but we have a strong accent. I too. know, but sorry, people. <laughs> but this thing is awesome, Precura machine, but I wouldn't recommend foreigner people to mm. try it because this is meant for Japanese. So if you take picture with this machine, your eyes gonna be bigger, your face is gonna be smaller, your legs is gonna be longer, and just looks like an no, alien. You you're gonna be unrecognizable. Uh, you're gonna look like, like a doll, and or alien. I would alien. say. I mean, if you wanna do it just for fun, do it. Yeah. It's for just for fun. Yeah, just for fun. Pictures or writings. Also, you can send the pictures to your cell phone or perhaps your toilet if you know you have Wi-Fi in yeah, there. Yes. You might never have to no. leave. 7. People pushers. Subways mm. and train stations get really Tokyo, overcrowded yeah. during rush hour. That's, That's why, why the I station staff and part-time workers mm. have to perform the routine procedure of pushing people inside trains to fit in as many passengers as possible before the doors close. <laughs> Literally, they do Number like eight, yes. Umbrella parking lot. Before going inside a building, you can park and lock your umbrella Ike. just like you do with your bike. Now you can be sure no one will take it, and you won't make a puddle on the floor if your umbrella is wet. Many government buildings, offices, and hotels oh, have stores. this sort yeah, of but, umbrella. But you, don't, you don't lock it. You don't need to lock it. In Japan, it's common. You leave your umbrella outside the buildings, and everybody gets in, leave the umbrella there. If you get unlucky and somebody gets the same kind of umbrella that you do, they may get yours by mistake. There's not many people who are going to steal your umbrella. Mm -hmm. Japan. So this is a normal thing, people do it, you know, it's not park, you don't need to lock it. Or if they don't have that thing, they they sometimes give you the plastic bag to put the wet umbrella. Yeah. So the floor doesn't get wet. Nine, millions of vending machines. Mm. Japan has mm. more than five million of them, mostly because true? they yes. save time for people yeah, who work late that. hours, which is a pretty common thing here. Besides, Japanese vending machines aren't just for snacks and soda. Oh, you can buy okay. you mm, basically anything, from yeah. live lobsters to underwear in these machines. 10. Tokyo's biggest resident In 2015, Godzilla was granted citizenship in Tokyo's Shinjuku really? Ward. The authorities okay. presented a special certificate stating his new residency and also <laughs> made him a job offer. Godzilla became the tourism ambassador. Later, they even installed a Godzilla head 171 feet above the ground at Toho, the movie studio that made the original movie back in 1954. 11. Train delays make headlines Punctuality is a really big thing here, and train stations do everything to possible seconds. to avoid mm. a delay. If a train is 5 minutes late, the railway company might have to issue a delay certificate for railway yeah. workers and passengers who missed an important appointment. And if the delay is longer than an hour, then the railway company might give an official Japan's apology. Crazy, huh? I mean, this is something I like about Japan. Punctuality. I love it. Yeah, but sometimes it's too much. If it's like one minute, two minutes late. In Japan, there's a rule that me says you need to be like five minutes ahead. That's a kind of rule. It's an unspoken rule in Japan. I mean, if it's just between friends, it's okay. But if it's like in a business meeting, it's really bad. Or work. In newspapers. 12. Silent karaoke. This is a special microphone with a cone that you place over your mouth. It muffles most of the sounds when you sing. <laughs> it was designed for people who don't want to wake up their neighbors and those who feel shy about belting their favorite mm. tunes in public. Number 13. Polite slurping. Well, Slurp. in many for me, this is the beginning. I was like, oh, what? 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 No, please, don't, don't suck it so hard. <laughs> <True story. laughs> I'm like, please don't suck it so hard. But yeah, yeah, that's true. It's normal, eh? Yeah, in Japan, we, call, we say if you slurp, it tastes better. <laughs> okay. I don't know why. I don't know. Now that I'm living here for longer, I got used to it. But in the beginning, oh no, if you come to visit, if you go in the ramen shop, you're gonna be like, okay, what? what? <laughs> Station of the dish. If you don't slurp when you eat noodles, then the chef will think that you don't enjoy the food or that it's cold. I don't know. <sighs> if chef thinks ah, like that. Ah, good noodles. 14. Face napkins. 
When you eat a burger, it's never pretty because your mouth gets covered in ketchup or mustard. Owners of one fast food restaurant found a solution to this by serving burgers together with special napkins. They cover the faces what? of guests. You ever saw those in Japan? Mm-mm. I don't think it's common. I've yeah. never seen it before. This is another one that he made up. So. Maybe there's like one restaurant who oh, do that okay. and then he talk about it. Yeah, I mean, and then we don't know. Yeah. But I never saw it. Who feel a bit embarrassed about looking messy while eating. 15. Water saving sinks. They're located right over the toilet tanks. The idea is simple. First, you wash your hands over the sink, mm? then the sink water goes ah, straight into the toilet tank, this? and finally, no. you flush the toilet when you... The one it's common is it's on top of the, the this tank. There's a place the water comes out, but it only comes out when, when you flush it. When, when you flush, then water comes and then we see. I don't, I don't think... No, we... man, I never saw this one. Mm -hmm. So the way she explained, the gonna, picture is going to pop up right here. <laughs> in front of the video. So when you flash, water comes out and you wash your hands with that water. Yeah, They're it's on, on top of the tank. Yeah, It's that, not beside that. Yeah, it's not beside the tank. This is not common. You save water by it. using it twice. Aren't you glad they don't do it the other way? <laughs> Number 16. Strange mayo. No, Japanese mayo doesn't have any special recipe or ingredient. But they don't eat it with salads, meat, or sandwiches. In Japan, People usually use it as a topping for what? ice cream or on what? pancakes. Mm. No. Oh my gosh. He is joking. Oh, never saw this one too. Never heard about it. Yeah, never. Like, we don't do it. We don't do it. Yeah, I don't think Japanese people eat like mayo <laughs> and ice cream together. No. No. Hmm, a chocolate sundae with mayo. Haha, <laughs> nothing He's better. About it. 17. Naps at work. In Japanese culture, dozing off at the workplace or in a muri is considered a sign of being a hard working person who's very committed mm. to their job. That's why in a muri is so common, and no one thinks it's a bad thing. Some no. people no. even. F no, no, <laughs> not true. <laughs> I mean, there's a place so you can take a nap in a workplace, but in a workstation, for example, you cannot just lay down and no. sleep. I mean, like if it's their lunch break, after they eat, they can sleep yeah, like inside place, a car yeah. or like break room. Some companies, they have a room so you can sleep, but it's not like that in a workplace, like in a table working environment. No, it's separated. And if you do that, and you're gonna get fired for sure, or your boss is gonna get really, really mad with you. Yeah, like people don't consider, oh, you're a hard work, that's you're, why. You're sleeping, you're, sleep. oh, we, you're sleeping at the working table, man. No. No, it's like, oh, you play a game all night long, that's why you're sleeping. Yeah, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> Fake it. 18. World's shortest escalator. You can find it in the basement yeah, of Moore's hmm. department store. But I saw it in Brazil too. Yeah, me too. Mall. So it's not only in Japan. Yeah. Yes. I think you might have that in your country too. You know, it's not like only Japan. Five steps and is only 33 inches tall. Well, that's one small step for a man. Mm -hmm. Okay. 19. Canned food restaurant. <laughs> Eating canned food what? may not sound like a delicious treat for you, but there's a whole chain of restaurants all over the country. Hold on, how this thing is popular? I mean, and I never heard. Country where they serve yeah. only canned Give me an food. Example. Yeah, they're because pretty I don't popular. Know since clients can choose from 300 varieties of food from all across the world. 20. Doll Village The village of Nagoro used to have a population of 300 people, but less than 40 residents live there now. A local artist, Tsukumi Ayano, made over 300 life-size dolls, most of which look like former residents. Okay. And they're mm -hmm. located okay. in various states of action. Really? For example, okay. there's a yeah. whole classroom of them in the village school that was closed a while ago. Number 21. No fours. Mm. Oh. It's common for Japanese. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Mm. I, I moved in Japan the first time and I, I live in an apartment like five. And I'll keep looking for number four. <laughs> I didn't find it. Because four is she mm. in Japanese and she is same as death, like same pronunciation. And nine also means uh, suffer in Japanese, <clears throat> so it's not good number two. And guess what? What? I'm born on April 9th. <laughs>
culture to avoid the number 4 because it's considered to be very unlucky. That's why some buildings don't have a fourth floor, stores don't sell a set of cutlery for four, and the number of guests to some event can't be four. 22. Blue traffic light. They use a blue color instead of green for traffic lights. The reason for that hides in their language. Historically, there was only one word for both colors. When traffic lights first appeared in the country, they were as green as anywhere else. But that green color was still called blue. I don't know, but it's still green. I mean, some, some traffic lights are still green, but we still call it blue. Yeah. Oh, it's blue. Let's go. I, I, first time I heard a guy, what? It's not blue, man. It's green. <laughs> Taking drive license, for example. So, yeah. yeah, they say it's blue. Go. But it's mainly only traffic lights. Like, I don't, for example, there's a green t shirt. Green t-shirts. I don't say blue t-shirts. I, I just call it green t-shirts. But the caterpillar, they call like a... a Aomushi, ne? Yeah. So, 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 so. It's green. But because it's like a traditional saying. Oh. We don't say midori mushi. We call it aomushi. Mm. Uh -oh. Blue. To make things right, the government decided to use the bluish shade <laughs> of green possible. Okay. 23. Cleaning oh. classes. Japanese kids learn how to clean in many schools because it's a part of their Try education. Mm. They mop their classrooms and hallways, do dusting, and even clean the bathrooms. Teachers believe it's a great way to raise responsible citizens. 24. Foot bath oh, yeah. train. Really? Take yeah, the Tsudoi tourist train to get the most comfortable sightseeing experience. This train has foot baths built of aromatic cypress That's wood and cool. filled with yeah. warm spring water common, that can still. soothe the pain in your joints. So, you can soak your feet and enjoy beautiful views at the same time while traveling from Nagoya That's to Yunoyama true. Onsen. 25. Futuristic <laughs> Toilets Toilets in Japan are very high-tech. To use one, a person should know what all those buttons are for. There's a variety of functions, including heating the seat, <laughs> Spraying warm water to I mean, clean. We have one of those, and it's really comfortable though. You yeah. go there with a smartphone and start to browse and stuff, it's warm. First of all, they're open by itself. You don't touch anything. You don't touch. And then they flush it by yourself too, so you Again. don't need to touch anything. Anything. The user up 26 crazy ice cream flavors. The Japanese oh. love weird food mm. combos. That's why finding an ice cream flavored with horse no. meat, cactus, charcoal, charcoal squid yeah. ink, garlic, or chicken wings won't be a problem here. Mm. I, I've seen charcoal, I've seen wasabi, but horse meat, octopus, I've never seen. It's not common. Well, I don't know. Maybe, but it's not common. 27. Space-saving parking lots. Since Japan is a densely populated country, they don't like to waste space. That's why their parking lots have a smart system. They're designed like mm. multi-level garages. 28. Oh. Robot-run hotel. In a hotel in Nagasaki, robots are a big part of its staff. It's called the henna, which translates as strange. The human-like androids meet the guests, clean the rooms, carry luggage, make coffee, and even smile. However, real people work there too to recharge the robots and supervise how they perform their duties. 29. Cafe Companion Sitting alone in a cafe and enjoying your coffee and food is common for most people around the world. But in the land of the rising sun, you'll get a huge Moomin plush cafe? moomin to sit next to you in one of the cafes, okay. so you don't have to eat alone. I mean, yeah, some stuff may exist for real but I, we never heard of and it's not common okay so if you like the video please subscribe and see you in the next video bye, bye.